Tonight, an exclusive News Channel 3 investigation. We uncovered the clerical error that let a violent man out of jail to kill again, according to police. Pat McReynolds has a story that you will see only on 3. So many memories. So many, so many, so many. Antoinette Logan can't help but smile, remembering how her daughter, Katrina Wilson, hated posing for pictures. I know if we put that one in one, she'll come back and get us. But Trina won't be back, and the many reasons why quickly bring her mother to tears. My daughter wasn't alive. My daughter died like an animal in a driveway. The way he killed her was just... No one should have died like that. Trina befriended the handyman in the neighborhood, James Alexander Moore. And when she learned of some of his sordid past, she tried to reform him through her faith in God. She was just um, an angel. But that's one of the things that she believed in, if we can make a difference in someone else's life. For a time, it seemed to work. But Moore became obsessed with Trina and soon wanted more than spiritual guidance. Oh, she told him a many times, no. No is not a word James Moore easily understands. He served nearly 20 years in prison for numerous violent crimes, most against women, including sexual assault, rape, and sodomy. He even escaped from the Newport News Jail back in 1994. Police say that mean streak took over again last January when Moore kicked in Trina's door and threatened to kill her. He tried to get at her. He tried to get her. Trina called police. She testified in court. And that's when she learned not only about his prison time, but this long list of charges just since he got out of prison five years ago. Her testimony sent him back to jail for 12 months. For at least a year. <laughs> we thought we were safe. But this is where Moore's extensive rap sheet seemed to work in his favor. In an attempt to streamline his court proceedings, Norfolk prosecutors introduced five charges against him in a hearing on April 2nd, but only wanted to discuss bail for two. In the court transcript, prosecutor Christina Brady admits, it's a little confusing, Judge. There are actually two separate sets of charges. Judge Mary Jane Hall appeared to understand, ultimately deciding, let's go ahead and restore the bond on these charges. We'll see what happens with the other one. So theoretically, Moore should have been denied bond on some charges and forced to stay in jail. But the judge signed off on this bond order that lopped all of the charges together, telling the jail if Moore could pay $5,000, he would be set free. On April 10th, he walked right out of the jail doors, and Katrina Wilson was given no warning. I'm devastated about I am because I felt, oh, we should have known, we should have known, at least known, that he was out, you know. For the next five nights, neighbors say they spotted Moore hiding in between trash cans or the cars in Trina's driveway, even unscrewing the bulbs in her security light. I never thought that, I guess in my mind, hearing him say that he would never hurt us, but I still had reservation. Like I told him, I never thought you would kick in my door either, but you did. But it was Sunday morning, April 16th, that police say Moore finally acted on his rage. Trina was getting into her car to go to church, just moments behind her mother, when neighbors saw Moore pull her from the driver's seat, beat her, and stab her to death. Everybody started running and screaming, and we were praying, oh my God, oh my God, please. And I was telling myself, why did I leave her? Why did I leave? I shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. But Moore would never have been on the street free to kill if not for this clerical error. A spokeswoman from the Norfolk Commonwealth's Attorney's Office told News Channel 3 its prosecutors did her job and left the courtroom confident Moore would stay behind bars. The Norfolk Sheriff's Department admits no fault because its jailers were following a valid judge's order. And the judge, Mary Jane Hall, won't comment on the mistake or anything while James Moore's case is still pending. The system just felt us I, I, I just can't believe I just can't believe it Trina's mother now has only pictures and her daughter's collection of angels as visual reminders of the spirit she lost I felt like if I was here I could have helped her I could have done something I could have done something I could have done something that she may never know but Mrs. Logan will ultimately get answers for the mistake that robbed her of her firstborn. There's no monies, no nothing that I wouldn't give 
that I would give to have her back. But I know that's impossible. She can't come to us. But one day we can go to her. The one answer we could not get today was whose handwriting is it on the bond order? Judge Hall cited judicial ethics when refusing to comment. Elected Circuit Court Clerk George Schaefer is on vacation. But if not for this error, Katrina Wilson, mother of two, would still be alive tonight. Pat McReynolds, News Channel.